Welcome back to another episode of Wind Down with Erica. So today's episode, I'm super excited to do because I've never done it before. So I'm going to have the help of my sous chef making this dish. Today we're going to be making some yummy fried chicken and we're going to have a side of french fries. I'm excited. I know fried chicken, so oh, it's going to be so good. So let's get started. So the wine of the day is this Chardonnay. It is really, really good. Uh, <laughs> it's a white wine, and I got it in my little Christmas glass. Oh, I can't wait for Christmas, y'all. I'm so excited. Oh, yeah, that's, that's really good. That's really good. Okay, now the ingredients for the fried chicken consist of a little garlic powder, Cajun seasoning, just a little bit of that, cornstarch, one egg, zazon seasoning, flour, get my flour, a little honey, and obviously we have the oil, and then that's it. And it's going to be so good, so let's get started to make this yummy fried chicken. So in this bowl, we got three cups of flour, and we're going to add a little bit of cornstarch, which gives the um, extra crispiness on the skin part of the chicken. Okay, and then that's it, and we're going to mix this together. And don't worry, all the seasoning, the egg, and all that is going to go on the chicken. So this is just flour and cornstarch, and then you're going to mix this together. So it's already starting to look good. So, we got our bowl with all of our chicken. We uh, rinsed the chicken off and we pat dried it. So now we got some good, yummy, dry chicken in here. And now we're gonna add in our salzon, just a little bit of Cajun, garlic powder, and a little bit of salt and pepper. And then that's when the fun part begins because then you get to mix it all together. So, with that being said, I'm trying to take my ring off. So. Let me go ahead and just add a little bit of the garlic powder. I think my sous chef just helped me out. We've got our tongs that we're going to toss together. A little bit of our Cajun seasoning. We're going to add, in the pack, you're going to add both of these. Try to open them up. <laughs> And like I said, you want to only add just a little bit of that Cajun seasoning. It may seem like I just added a whole lot because now you've got this salvo. I did not. You just want to add just a little bit of that Cajun seasoning because you got two packs of this salvo, if I'm saying that correctly. So you don't want to over season it. And then we're just going to do a little salt and pepper. A little tricky thing is my little salt thing comes out. So. A little salt. <laughs> and then pepper. And then, like I said, and then we're going to mix this all together. It smells so good, y'all. So let's just mix this together, and then we're going to add the rest of the ingredients to the chicken. Okay, so I got our chicken all nice and seasoned with the dry ingredients, and now we're going to add in the wet ingredients. The one egg, and one ingredient that I forgot to add in the beginning was buttermilk. Um, this is just a one pint. You can use a bigger one if you want, um, but... Typically, you're just going to put in a majority of this. Maybe not all of it. If you want, you can put all of it in. Buttermilk, all it does is just going to coat the chicken, and then you're going to put it in the flour mixture. So, I'm going to add our one egg. And I use my hand the first time for our dry ingredients to mix all the chicken, because I didn't mind. I mean, because I'll wash my hands. But now for the wet ingredients, oh, no, I'm using the tongs. So, I am not going to get my hands dirty. And see, I almost used the whole thing. I didn't use it all. So now we're going to uh, toss this all together. Okay, so I'm just tossing the chicken like so. Just so we can coat all that chicken with a yummy buttermilk. My mini sous chef, he's a little 
a little sleepy and a little hungry, but he's just eating some Cheetos right now. Okay, so now that this is nice and cooked, we're going to I think the honey comes in after, like later, to put it on the chicken, like when it's all done. That's gonna be so good. But now we got a flour and we got this mixture. So we're gonna take our chicken and we're just gonna put it in our flour and mix it all together and then we're gonna put it in our fryer. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so good. And when I tell you it smells good, that buttermilk, that salzone, that Cajun, that garlic powder, all that, that egg, everything, it helps. This is gonna be some good fried chicken. I'm super excited. So like I said, we're just gonna take we have a lot of pieces of chicken, so you don't want to crowd your flour batter. So you're just going to take, I'm just going to put two in here. And then we're just going to coat them. Oh. And then we're just going to coat it, and then that's when we're going to put it in the fryer. And if you want, you can use your hands, but I'm just going to use this spoon to coat my chicken. And make sure it's nicely coated with all that yummy flour and that um, cornstarch that we put in the flour mixture. Okay, now my sous chef is gonna help me out here and I'll be putting a piece or two in the fryer as well, but I'm gonna let him do his thing, so. Ooh, it's gonna be so good. I can't wait for y'all to see this when it's all nice and crispy. This is what the chicken looks like when you get it out of the fryer, of the deep fryer. Look at that nice and crispy golden brown. And we got a couple more pieces right here. And we're just frying them up. It looks good, y'all. Smells good. Oh, my goodness. Look at that nice golden brown. Oh, it is really crispy. Oh, my goodness. It's going to be so good. It's going to be good. Cool. Okay. So, I'm going to put a piece of chicken in the fryer. I'm frying the chicken. Just drench it a little bit so you get the little flour off. And you just fold it in there. Just like that. And I guess I'll do another piece. Do like just the first time. Shake a little extra flour off of it. And just put it in there just like that. Yay! In this pot, we're adding some lemon juice. This is what you're gonna coat the chicken on when it's done, and, it's, and especially while it's nice and hot. This is gonna be so good. And you're adding a little honey. And we're just gonna mix it together on low heat. Oh man, look at all that yummy honey. So that's a little bit of lemon juice and honey. This is a recipe that my husband got. This fried chicken recipe, this is all my husband. So this is going to be really, really good, y'all. Like I said, you're just going to mix these two together. You just got a little bit of lemon juice and some honey. Low heat, and you're just going to mix it together. You got a nice simmer for about, until it boils. It's going to be so good, y'all. Chicken, y'all. All done. Nice, golden brown, crispy. And now we're going to take that lemon-honey mixture and just pour it on the chicken. Watch this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That looks so good, y'all. Oh, my gosh. This looks good, babe. Oh, man. This looks good, y'all. I can't wait to taste this piece of chicken. Oh, yeah. So, the chicken is all done. It cooled off because it was a little hot. So, now we're going to try it. And I'm so excited, so... Okay, so I'm just going to bite right into it. I'm going to have a piece, and then my sous chef, he's going to have a piece. Oh, my God. I have two pieces. Mm, look at that. Look at that. All right, chicken, look good. Oh, my goodness. It is good. That honey and lemon. Mmm. 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 Mm. Mm. Oh, good. Mm. Okay, boo boo. Mm. So good. Pass that chicken. Pass that chicken. Pass that chicken. Oh, my yeah, bro.
Actually, it is good, y'all. Yeah. Okay, I'll get that beer out there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Black and tan, go and get that. Uh, what you say? Talk with your mouth for. Black and tan, baby. Oh, okay. Black and tan. Okay, y'all. <laughs> the chicken is delicious, y'all. It's good. That The skin is so good. Definitely stay tuned for another episode of Wind Up With Erica. This is good. Okay. We're going to eat dinner now. Y'all going to make some of this yummy fried chicken. So good.